Congratulations. You found the one station that plays Ghana's best urban music. YFM. Listen to YFM 107.9 Accra, 102.5 Kumasi, and 97.9 in Takarati. Oh, yeah, there I am. Where's Winston? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> It's almost what it's like what four minutes four minutes to three o'clock and yeah we're about to get it going with uh Trevor he's gonna be joining us here in a little bit but I mean everybody that's here so far welcome welcome I see you guys yeah you ready are you guys ready <laughs> I'm ready I hope you guys are ready as well and also so here's how it works for those of you who are just joining us uh all throughout you know it's a conversation between the fans and Trevor himself, I'm just basically a mouthpiece, you know? I'm just basically a mouthpiece. I, I'm i going to be, uh, you know, reading out your questions to him. So, uh, yeah, just drop your questions all throughout the interview. If you got something you want to say to Trevor, you know, uh, just drop it off and I'll, I'll do my best to try and um, ask everybody's question. I'll do my best to try and do that. Um, yeah, so Trevor's gonna be on in a bit. So just just to tell you guys how the hot seat is like, basically, he's on the hot seat. So all you guys gotta do is simply drop your questions here in the comments. I'll read them to him. You know, we're gonna get to have a conversation with him as well. I got some questions of my own. I'll ask him as well. So all throughout, just feel free, feel free to just you know interact with it you know yeah welcome welcome everybody joining in it's yeah, it's gonna be a fun time i see i see people people coming through yeah 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 you're welcome you're welcome yeah we steadily 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 joining climbing it's like it's it's like uh what do you call it 8 a.m where trevor is so yeah he had to get up real early for this one i mean here in ghana it's like almost 3 p.m but it's like eight o'clock in la so shout out to trevor jackson you know for doing this getting up early where his alarm clock for today so we're waking him up super early just to have a conversation with him and yeah big ups to him for you know kicking with us so early so yeah man we're just doing the waiting game right now welcome everybody that's coming through so like i'm like i have been saying uh everybody that comes that's coming through you know with the hashtag the hot seat on why just you know yeah, wherever it is that you are going to be uh, posting. You can even post on Twitter and Instagram. Of course, Instagram is where the live is going on. But, I mean, all throughout, I'll be reading messages from Twitter and Instagram as well. So just drop your questions. What questions do you want to ask Trevor, you know? Uh, you want to ask about his, uh, you know, his movie roles, his series, his, uh, uh, you know, maybe relationships? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it is that you want to ask, man, just feel free. This is like this is like the place where you get to ask all the questions that I won't be able to ask on air, basically. So feel free and enjoy the show. I mean, the show is for you guys. That's why we did what we did. Shout-outs to Eddie Blay. Shout-outs to Ishak Ella uh, producing this. And, uh, yeah, we were able to come up with something that connects you to your favorite artists, to your favorite actors, to your favorite personalities in general, pretty much. Yeah. So thank and thank you guys for coming through. You know, thank you guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh yeah, I see a couple of people. Let me see if I can shout out a couple of people. Abbas Yabrehe. Charlie, what the name, bro? Yeah, Manaji in the building. <laughs> I see you, bro. I see you, bro. Kaliba made it. Yes, you made it. Indeed, you made it. Abrantia Gavin is also here. Um, yeah, yeah. Kelvin Asari. Kelvin Asari. Yeah, I see you guys. Yeah, man. We're about to get it going here in a little bit. You know, Trevor's going to be joining us. So, yeah, we're waiting on, we're waiting on that, you know. Um, yeah, he's he even posted about it a couple of minutes ago. So, I'm pretty sure he's, you know, getting ready, gearing up. You know, we got to give the man a minute. It's really early in L.A., you know, 8 o'clock. Eight o'clock is it's pretty early. Hey, my guy, Nanayao, my guy, my guy. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I see you, Jeff J. Simba. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's happening? Density for real, my G. Yeah, I appreciate the push on Twitter, man. You guys have been doing a good job. 
I appreciate you guys coming through, kicking it with us. You know, we're at 27. Let's steadily, you know, rise a little bit. We're waiting. We got like, uh, yeah, it's actually three. So any moment now, I'm pretty sure Trevor's going to send in that, uh, you know, um, you know, that request. And then we're going to we're going to join. We're going to join screens real quick. So, yeah. Yeah. Keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. What you guys got to say? You guys got a question, right? You guys got you got questions to ask Trevor. I hope you guys are ready. You have questions, right? You got questions you want to ask? I hope you guys are ready for this because, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, man. Big Chris DJ in the building, in the his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, man. It's raining outside here. I, I hope you guys are safe, man, and inside. Shout out to Johnny Stone. Yeah, man. Coming through, coming through, coming through, man. Royal Highness, Freaky48. Mana G, a lot of questions, bro. Hey, you don't come play, bro. If you so, ask the question. Ask the question. Are we using the ones from Twitter? We are. We're going to use the ones from Twitter as well. And also on Instagram. So it's not just, uh, yeah, the ones on Twitter. Good morning, Royal Highness. Good morning. How are you? How are you doing? It's it's afternoon in Ghana. But I'm guessing you're in LA. So yeah, good morning. Johnny Stone. Man like Johnny Stone coming through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's, it's finna be a blast, man. Oh, man. Trevor Jackson is bae. Ooh. Can, can the questions be B-rated? Yeah, it can be B-rated. It can even be R-rated. You know, uh, yeah, Trevor, you know, Trevor has the choice whether or not he's going to answer them or not. So, you know, you, you just feel free. Be yourselves. Be yourselves, man. I can't afford to miss the hot seat program. Yes. Hashtag hot seat on why. Yes, bro. Johnny Stone in the building. Of course. Of course. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Trevor. Trevor's coming through. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yet. We're still looking. We're still we're still waiting on on our man. We gotta give him a minute, man. Forty people forty people tuned in right now. Yeah, tell somebody, tell another somebody, man. We we're about to kick it, kick it. Hashtag the hot seat on Y. The hot seat on Y. Shout outs to YFM, man. Eddie Blay, Blase Lieutenant, coming to you, bringing bringing you the show right here, man. Yeah, man. Our boss is amazing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Shout outs to you guys. Yeah, the the questions like you just to answer your question. You said. Can the questions be B-rated? It can be, you know, just feel free. Ask. Where is my bro? He's on his way. Give him a minute. You know, it's it's 8 o'clock in LA. Good morning, everybody who's joining from LA. Yeah, shout out to the YFM team. Johnny Stone, I see you, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's coming through. Rev Eskin, the big bro himself, man. Rev Eskin. Yo, yo, yo. That's what's up. Pop Central on YFM just joined in. That's after this show. We're going to jump on air real quick around 4 to 6. So you guys can tune in and check it out on YFM as well. Pop Central. That's a great show, man. Abranti Abako Pewinstein. Manaji. Manaji, you better bring it, man. It's 10 where you are. Ooh. Danny, where are you? Yeah, I saw your tweets. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, Danny, where are you? Are you? Oh, in Alabama. 10 a.m. in Alabama. Oh, wow. Good morning. Good morning for you guys tuning in from, uh, yeah, Alabama, L.A., you know, yeah, out there in the USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor Jackson's coming through real soon. So, yeah, kick it with me. But anyway, this is the nature of the hot seat, ladies and gentlemen. It's your show. It's your show. I'm basically just facilitating on your behalf. Let's say it like that, right? I'm just facilitating on your behalf. And, uh, yeah, you can ask any question, man. What, what kind of questions, just to get an idea, what kind of questions do you guys have in mind? Post them real quick with the hashtag, the hot seat on Y. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good morning from Alabama. I am, is it Sedulous? I hope I got it right. <laughs> I hope I got it right. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're checking on Trevor real quick. We're checking, we're checking, we're checking to see. Um. Yeah, we got to give, oh, oh, Trevor's here. Trevor's here. Trevor's, Trevor's here. Yeah, he's joining real quick. We're waiting for him real quick. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up? What's going on? What's going on, man? Good morning. Good morning. Good How morning. you doing? Good, man. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Just oh, look. man. Lots of people, lots of people are excited to have you here, man. Everybody's been buzzing, you know? It's a pleasure. Hey, thank you, man. I'm excited to be here. It's, uh, it's a crazy time, but good times to connect, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Construct and exactly exactly i mean where where your alarm clock for today it's it's what yeah. eight o'clock yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, anyway, let me let me quickly introduce myself, uh, Trevor. I'm Winston, Winston Michaels. I'm I'm a presenter here at YFM, man. It's good to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. And I I hope you're ready, man. How 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 are you doing this morning? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm I'm excited. I I had to rest tomorrow. I've been surfing every day, but yesterday I rested so I can go tomorrow. So today I'm Ooh. gonna. Ooh. Yeah, we're we're. We're definitely gonna ask you about that, man. Surfing, I've, I've, yeah. I've, I'll be keeping up. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be keeping up. But, but real quick though, before we, you know, we get started, before I let you know how, you know, this is gonna play out. How, how do you spend your Sunday mornings? Like usually, how, how, how does that go by? Uh, I try and watch service on church. Uh, mm -hmm. I have one church, Pastor Torre, or I, uh, I'll just surf and relax. But, I'm <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Connect us up. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. So I mean, you know, we created we created this show, you know, called the uh, the hot seat. I'm pretty sure you you've been. I want to thank you though, by the way, ahead of time because you've been you've been really helping us with the hype. I've, I appreciate that, man. No you really put us on, and I appreciate you. Our first guest. That's such an honor to have you, man. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, the way it works is we're we're putting you in connection with you know some of your fans around the world, especially here in Africa, you know? So they get to ask you all the questions they've been, you know, they've been wanting to find out, you know, from you directly. And um, here's, the way, here's the way it works. If, if any point during the interview, you, you feel like maybe the question is sort of, uh, I don't know, you know, we, we get some weird questions that come, that come through. So if you feel like, you know, there's a question you, you may not vibe with or anything, it's, it's okay to just say, you know, pass or something like that. And then maybe we just have you, uh, shout out a fan or something like that just for that you know <laughs> just for passing up on a question you know well we're trying to we're trying to connect back with him real quick you all right Sorry. you good yeah so i mean we're just trying to get you as comfortable as possible you know i mean it's, it's supposed to be a fun interaction you know and uh yeah everything's supposed to be all cool so uh yeah what so so what do you think about that school right it's all right yeah. You good? Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Dope, 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 dope. Now I'm gonna. There's so many, so many questions are coming in. Like right now, the moment you joined in, everybody's like, yo, yo, yo. They gotta, yeah. they gotta get it in. You know. Uh, but real quick, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you about uh, quarantine because you know we're we're sort of in that sort of uh, space. You know, um, you have you've been inside. What are some yeah. of the things that you you've been you've been up to? I know you you recently launched a. Um, midnight snack show on your yeah. on your Instagram. Yeah, I checked it out with Jojo. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so I've been doing that. Um, I have another one coming this uh, this upcoming Friday. Mhm. Mm and yeah, man, that's to me more so. You know, talk about my music and yeah, musical past and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, dude, I've been doing that. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty. Ooh, speaking of Call of Duty, speaking of Call of Duty, Danny, Danny from Alabama asked yeah. me to ask you if you have a PS4 or an Xbox, because she wants to kick your butt, man. PS4, PS4. PS4, yeah. Danny, there you go. There you go. He's got a PS4. So, yeah, yeah. hopefully she can challenge you and you guys can go one-on-one, -on -one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. that, that, that would be fun. That and then uh yeah just I've been trying to take up yoga a little more just because my you know I'm doing a lot of sitting around and you know yeah. like, got to exercise exactly keep my body like loose and yeah man yeah that's what's up that's what's up man I mean you gotta you gotta stay active in this quarantine period and all that you know but speaking of speaking of quarantine let me let me ask you this though what is what is let's say one skill that you are learning during this quarantine period let's 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 go with that stretching i don't know if that's a skill but it just definitely helps everything else stretch it, stretch it stretch more like every moment i get i'm trying to like just get something a little more loose because i'm telling you i tighten up especially surfing mm -hmm. you know, I'm recording for hours or i'm playing guitar for hours and then my yeah. back is over you know what i'm saying so I'm trying to just stretch more man that's that's what's up that's what's up. Before before I move into a couple of the other questions, that man, there's so many questions for you, bro. Uh, let's let's we'll try and see if we can get through some of these. But I mean, I I, I have been keeping up with you on Instagram, and I okay. see that um, especially some of your during some of your shows, you have your team around. Yeah. You know? 
Shout out yeah. to your team. Um, do you, I, I, I was just wondering off the top of my head, like, do they stay around or like, do they come around when you got to do something? Like, how do you, how do you, how are you managing that in terms of uh, the quarantine space? Time. They're like family, and if they're not family, they're like right. So for the time being, they're all with me. They're all with you. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now let me let me ask you a question from uh, one of your fans. It said, uh, "You recently just joined TikTok, and you dropped a song in a challenge, right?" Yeah. I mean, how how has that experience been like for you? It's been awesome, man. I've been seeing people, so many people do it, the challenge. Um, it's freaking dope, man. I'm excited. I can't wait. I got my nieces and nephews doing it, so that'll be tight. Uh, trying mm -hmm. to get my we'll up to it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's wild. I've, I've seen a couple of the videos. And anybody who's listening right now, you guys can begin to send in your messages. I see them down there. Lots of people sending fire, yo. Yo, Trevor yeah. Jackson to Ghana. <laughs> I see that. I see that. That's all love. That's all love right there. Yeah, man. But I mean, lots of people want to find out about Gronish. I see a lot of Gronish hashtags like coming through the comments, like real quick. I mean, you guys are you guys are on break, right? From the, yeah, yeah. the season just ended. All of this stuff, you know, it's all shut down. But the minute that they open up, we'll go back to shooting and get it going. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, uh, let me ask you the, the most obvious of questions because now Aaron on Gronish is sort of done with school, right? And yeah. he's sort of like, he sort of kind of like got gotten a job on campus, you know, yeah. to try and progress to the next level. So will we be seeing a lot of Aaron back in Gronish still since oh. you, you sort of kind of on campus again? Sure. Come on, you know. Yeah, gotta, we, we got to, man. Got to be pushing the buttons. Otherwise, you know, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's it but i mean how is it how is how how are you like when you're on set how are you like when you're I, when you're filming gonish i'm the class clown I'm class the clown so you're making everybody laugh yeah i'm the guy that like trevor shut up or like you know <laughs> they can't find me because i like ran and went to go get some food or something like i'm just crazy but my thing is i refuse to let my job feel like a job ever or anybody mm -hmm. You know, I come to work because it's fun for me, and I'm not going to let anybody take that away. But sometimes That's it. It can be That's annoying, it. but I'm here to have a good time. And if you're having a bad day, please believe uh, you'll be the first person I hug and make make laugh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. I mean, it's always, it's always fun to have uh, such a, a personality around. It, it just makes things a bit easier. You know, yeah. you don't get too worked up. You got to act. You got to do a scene. You can't be feeling like what you were thinking about last night or this morning, some shit that happened to you personally. So when you get someone on set that's kind of just breaking down those walls a bit, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Now, you know I'm going to ask, right? Because somebody just, somebody just said it. Ask him. Ask him about Zoe. Ask him about Zoe. Yeah. Yeah. So Aaron and Zoe on the show, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's almost as if you you know what exactly I'm gonna ask, man. Right. I mean, the fans gotta on screen. The fans gotta find out, you know, tune into the the, the next season. Of course, yeah. we gotta wait. We definitely gotta wait. No, no spoilers out there. Yeah. No spoilers. No, no, we gotta wait. But in terms of somebody, somebody asked uh, on Twitter. In terms of um, where does where does Aaron and Zoe, you know, stop and then. Trevor and Yara continue in terms of real life. How's that like? Yara's my sister. She's like my little sister. I love her. She's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's my dear friend. Dear friend. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. How, how is she? How how is she like to work to, to work with though when you're on set? The kindest people ever. She's um and she just handles everything very well. Uh, she doesn't sleep as much as I advise her to. Just just because she has so much work, you know what I'm saying. Got to be yeah. she's Harvard, doing school. You know what I'm saying? Then she'll Whoa. you know end up listening to a new album, and then she got you know what I'm saying. So, but she's uh just super super kind, man. That's my most admirable trait about her, I'd say. I want uh, the best for everyone. Um, yeah. You know, and uh, she's that's that's her goal in life is to create a world where everybody is loved and nothing but awesome. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, in terms of let's say music, right? In terms of music, you, you, you yourself, you're you're an incredible artist out there. Do we get to see Aaron 
do a bit of music? Probably Would that not. be incorporated somehow? No? Probably, just because for me, I, I remember I, probably like five or six years ago, I made the decision in my head that I never really wanted to blur the line of okay. me, addition to me, the actor, unless it's like I'm playing like Marvin Gaye, you know, then obviously mm -hmm. the music the movie. But, you know, I've been offered movies or had to audition for movies that, you know, they wouldn't be like an artist in the movie. And it, but, you know what I mean? It's not for me. Yeah. I'd rather that yeah. be, like, I want to be acting. If I'm on screen, I want to be an actor. You know what I mean? Actor. And then, and then if I'm off screen, you know, I'm a musician. Just because the lines get blurred. People be like, oh, he's a guy that's singing in the thing. And that's, what he, you know, it's just yeah. lines a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Because we got a question here from Nanayao, and he says, um, what do you consider when you accept a role? What do you consider when you accept a role? Um, you know? Is it going to be challenging for me? Because I want to challenge a little bit. I also like uh, multiple facets to a character. I don't like one-noted people. Like, if the guy is like the dick of the movie, he has to be a dick the whole time. And that's Yeah. Connected. Like, but I'd rather be... <laughs> movie that you find out oh his dad died when he was young and so he had to try and cover it up you know what I'm saying? yeah shit like that um you know i want to do action stuff i like you know any movie with denzel in it i'll be i'll be a tree denzel. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up <laughs> that's what's up but i mean in terms of i've have ha has there been an instance where you've let's say you've turned down a movie and you're like nah i don't want to do that i don't want to you know i don't want to go into that yeah 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 for sure maybe and i don't remember what it was about it just didn't line up just didn't feel right and i try i try and follow my gut as much as possible um but yeah it just didn't feel didn't feel right yeah 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 and in terms of uh somebody also asked a follow-up question in terms of uh um you they wanted to ask you is there a point in time where somebody wanted a feature or maybe you featured or you offered uh, to uh, feature on somebody's song and e either they didn't want to work or you didn't want to work or it wasn't right? Like, has that been a moment like that? In, yeah, in... Bro, I've hit a few people who didn't get a response back. I won't say who, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it changes, you know, it'll be that. And then, you know, you put out a song and people love it. And they're like, hey, you want to work? You know what I'm saying? And, but yeah. it's all, because being, you know, being an artist or being an entertainer, you get busy, you, you're, you're trying to put so many things into motion. And unless you're like either cool with that person or have been exposed to that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. Now, let me, let me, let me quickly jump into your movie, Superfly. Lots of people have been yeah. checking it out. I, I went to my, I went to my barber's. Let me tell you a quick story. I went to my barber's place like yesterday. And yeah. because, you know, we put out your, your flyer and we said, we we're going to go talk to you. He yeah. was trying to explain to the people in the barbershop that, yo, that's Trevor Jackson. He's the guy in Superfly. And they were like, nah, that's not him. So, like, he actually, he had the movie play out. Well, and he's like, yo, check this guy out. Check the flyer out. That's the same dude. You get yeah. me? Like, so he had, like, everybody check out that, check out the movie. You know? So, yeah, man. So, I mean, Superfly, that's an incredible, incredible movie, you know? Hey, and hey, people... My bad, not to interrupt you, but I'm saying I can't tell you how many people uh, that I met after that were like, "Yo, what?" Yeah. Like, I had no idea. They were like, "I had no idea. I thought that you were like 30 years old, and I thought you talked." <laughs> like, yeah. You, my hair was like that, and then I talked like that, and they just I'm like, "Dude, I'm an act. I just acted like." You just acted, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so people want to know, man is 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 there a Super Flight Two or a sequel in the works? You know moment not of not not as of now but you know mm -hmm. hopefully in the future we'll see we'll see yeah uh, and i mean you, you you just spoke of you just spoke of uh um you know people people wanting to find out if like that's how you were you know the way you talk is that yeah. how so can you can you can you do accents can you do any accent from I can anywhere do it quite well yeah you know i do british very well um people think ah. i'm London and that but normally i'm trying to do my best <laughs> Yeah. That's it. That's, that's, that's all, it, man. All that's all you got. <laughs> that's all. That's all. That's all. Well, that's 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 pretty tight, though. That's yeah. That's pretty uh, tight. Time, give me an accent. I can do. I can. I can figure it out. 
Yeah, with time, with time, you can figure it out. Most, most definitely, most definitely. But I mean, when it comes to when it comes to some of your hobbies, um, what do you still keep up with? I know earlier on, especially through your music, your your brother plays basketball, right? Yeah. You also grew up playing basketball yourself. You still keep up with that? I don't keep up with basketball as much uh, as I should, uh, especially now. Obviously, it's not really anywhere to do it. But yeah, dude, surfing is my main. I've been doing that's pretty much I try and go every day for like four or five hours. Yeah. And, and playing guitar. Trying to, trying playing to, guitar, to, yeah. I actually yeah. my neighbor just gave me a test. Awesome. I've been playing. But okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. I I saw a video of you. I it was was it it was early. I think you were playing an electric guitar. Yeah. Is that your guitar of choice, or you can do acoustic as well? Um. Uh, Electric is my guitar of choice. Acoustic is more for chord playing, which I need to practice on. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, electric is my favorite. I like solos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, cool. Now speaking of speaking of of music, I mean we're sort of circling around that a little bit. You're a big country fan, right? Yeah, you like oh, country music. Love it. Yeah, are, are, are we to expect like are we to expect a country record anytime or you know something? Probably. How about how about something like how about something like a a sort of a fusion between let's say trap because you do you do some uh, you know so, some of that like yeah. spice of hip hop into that yeah. whole you know vibe yeah. you know what what do you think of that sound that that fusion between hip hop and sort of country that would be amazing and they're already dude listen they're already doing our country artists if you're listening to the country radio on the way back from surfing and yeah. these schools are doing full-on R&B records. Like, the song is coming on, like, I won't, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? Yo! So it sounds, <laughs> I'm saying, it's just crazy. Yeah. That's what they that's like. like. That's no Kenny Rogers right, right there, but I mean, hey. <laughs> you know, the name of the song, but the song was like a straight R&B, like, sex song. Yeah. You know? Country, like, so it's just kind of funny. The lines are being blurred so much now, but I think if you're white and you have a cowboy hat, it's automatically country no matter what the music sounds like. That is it. That is it. Exactly. If you're black, <laughs> no matter what the music sounds like, you're an urban rap R&B artist. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say, and he's like, dude, y'all giving me rap my alternative. Like, why couldn't I gotten the rock out? You know what I'm saying? It's just funny because a lot of these genres are... Uh, you know, dependent upon the color of your skin, not about the music. Which not I about the music per se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's quite unfortunate though. But I mean, if if you were to let's say if you were to um, do some something sort of around that, um, maybe feature with a country at artist or something like, or yeah. work with somebody. Who who are some of your favorites? Dan and Shay, uh, Rascal Flatts. Those are like my top. Old Dominion. Yeah. Good. I think Hunter Hayes needs to come back. I ain't heard of him forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know him? No, no. I'll, I'll definitely check it out from, from what you're saying, though. Bro, he had an album, and he wrote and produced, like, played every instrument on the album. Like, every That's crazy. Guitar, the piano, everything, and wrote the records and sang it like he's a beast. But he had that one album, and I ain't heard him. So I'm like, it happened, man. Come back. New stuff. Great. Yo. He's great. Yo, that's 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 wow. That's that's the same, man. That's that's crazy creative right there. Nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um yeah. now speaking of music though, have you have you heard of the genre Afrobeats? Yes. I have some of those too. Yeah? So oh, so are you working on some Afrobeats? Let's let's find out, you know, from you. Yeah, you got something like that? Cause I feel like it. I feel like it'll fit your style, you know, in terms of like you you sing, you dance as well, you know. Cause you know in Africa we have that we have that sort of vibe where you know we like to make people move. Let me tell me tell me if this is like kind of that vibe. I just made this the other day, like two days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, exclusive right there, Trevor Jackson. <laughs> yeah, for real. This is this is brand new. Like it ain't even brand new. It's like my first little, but I think it matches that vibe. 
How's it going on that side? Been going good over there? Yeah, 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 we are. We're all right. We can hear you. Yeah, I need to get to Africa, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's actually the next question I was gonna ask you. Somebody somebody sent in a question. It says, Trevor Jackson, when are you coming to Africa? Yeah. When I are you to... coming to Africa? Africa, when they tell me I have a show out there, I'd love to come do a show out there. Yeah, yeah, you should. That'll be fine. Uh, you know you you know Diggy was down here. Diggy was down here when uh, yeah, I, I think uh shut up about did he tell it. you about that? I was pissed because I wanted to go. He just kept rubbing it in my face. Dude, oh my God, oh my God. Africa, bro, you got to go. It was so, I'm like, you freaking A. I'm sure it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. He went in. That's what's up. I mean, what, what, do you, what do you tell you? What do you tell you about his experience down here? What are some he of the just, things? It was he awesome. He just felt his roots. He felt, you know, people were so awesome. Everybody's having fun, dancing. He just said it was an amazing celebratory time. And I'm mm -hmm. like, bro, definitely trying to, trying to get out there. Definitely. Have you have you have you searched uh have you traced your ancestry at all? Like in any in any form? Um not really. I need to do it like for real, for real. I've had like hints mm -hmm. buzz, but sorry guys, my computer is being an a-hole. Give me a second. <laughs> no worries, no worries. We got you. We got you. DJ Mike Smith, I see you. One of one of uh, you know one of our incredible DJs from down here. Just joined the uh, you know the live real quick. What up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kojo Manuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. La Familia. They're all in the building, listening to you, man. But yo, hey. it'd be it'll be crazy, crazy checking you out on some Afro beats. You know, busting those moves. Yes. Did, oh, did, did you did you always did you always like uh, you know did you grow up dancing or like you, you just picked it up you learned learned it along the way? I, I grew up tap dancing. That was what I did originally. Whoa, whoa! Yeah. Tap dancing was my very first thing I did, and then I started traveling, tap dancing, like competing and shit, and then. Then I, uh, then I freaking, what, well, after that, I came back to Indiana, and then I did this show called the Beef and Boards Christmas Show, mm -hmm. which is, like, a show where you, like, perform, and then people could, like, eat and stuff, and yeah. that was, like, my first equity show, and then from there, I did the Lion King Broadway show for, like, three years, and then that kind of led me to where I'm at now, dude, just, everything has been a chain reaction. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I think I got it now. You got it out. You got it now. Okay, cool. Let's let's feel some of that. Let's see if it if it if it comes up. You know. Okay. <laughs> no worries. No pressure. Connect. Somebody say tap dancing. Fire. Fire emojis, man. <laughs> yeah. Somebody loves. Somebody love that. That you you tap dancing and all. Okay, we might have power, guys. We might have power. Nanayal says, let me read some of these comments. Nanayal says, uh, yo, Trevor, mad talent, man. I follow you. Uh, somebody says, uh, Trevor, you heard of Ghana? You coming to Ghana? I want to. He, he wants to, man. He's, he's working on it. <laughs> Hopefully, he comes, he comes down to do a show. It says, uh, yeah, your, your party's lit. Oh, yeah, this is kind of like a party, isn't it? <laughs> For the fans, you know? Tarnation. Somebody says, remember me, Trevor, from L.A.? Of course. Of course he does, man. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Random qu question. Trevor, do you like karaoke? If yes, what is your go-to song from Johnny Stone? My favorite go-to song is, I'm a Thank you. That's a good one. Yeah, that's my go-to right there. Sorry, that's a good dude. one. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I need you to hear the song, so we're gonna wait until it's working. Somebody say, "Oh, oh, Nana G says, Trevor, you're so talented, man. What don't you do? What can't you do?" Soccer. <laughs> no, I can't play soccer. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, yo, that's that's awesome. I'm reading some of these comments coming through, man. It says, "Come to OKC, Brazil." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know. He's, he's 
<laughs> you know he's gonna do that. Yeah, love. Love to you guys. Love to you guys. Everybody coming through. It says, uh, "Are you ever?" Ooh, it says, uh, "Trevor, I loved you. I love you from that movie Superfly, man. That was so fly. That was so dope." Hey, Trevor. Lots of people. Yeah, let's see. Let's see some of these these messages coming through. Um, yeah, shout out to you. It says, "Good morning, all the way from Alabama." Yeah. Oh, bet Alabama. What's up? Al Alabama. Yeah. Nashville. Yeah. Maybe because Nashville. the origin turned them lights down low. <laughs> uh, the Afrobeats is coming. Y'all, y'all gotta give my man a minute, man. Yo, while he's while yeah. he's getting that ready for y'all, man. While he's getting that ready for y'all. We, I mean, we we getting to know, uh, you know, Trevor quite a bit. You like to surf, you know. We've we've gotten we've gotten to the point where we know you play you play some guitar. You like the electric guitar, you know, Love. that kind of. Love. Yeah, exactly. I mean, somebody wants to know what's what's what has been your favorite feature. What has been your favorite feature uh, in terms of music? I think the little Yachty feature was dope. I think I love uh, that. That's that's tell me, right? Yeah, tell me, yeah. Tell and me, I, tell me. I love that song. And then I think me and Dig always make some dope stuff. I love Star Chaser. Me and him, we did that song on Rough Drafts too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Someone says, I'm um, Gary okay, uh, from in, in the, Indianapolis. You got it? <laughs> Get it it's brand new. It's not all the way done, but brand new. to that joint man that that's oh. that's a wild joint right there thank you bro Yo, thank you. that's crazy like everybody everybody in the comments is like i'm already dancing man and people are trying to like figure out you know what are you doing you know uh, yeah. some of the popular dances down here like azonto you know yeah. shocky and all that i'm like yeah yeah afro beats is fire man <laughs> that's what's up Yo, that's 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 crazy that's crazy dope man that's crazy dope yeah. Oh man, that's 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 quite a surprise. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back, man. That's 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 wild. Who did, who did the beats? Who worked on the beat? So that beat is my homie. His name is Source. He's a beast. He worked on everybody, but uh, he's a good friend of mine. And yeah, he came over there. Yeah, day. bro, I got this shit for you. I was like, what? What? Play it. As soon as he played the first, 
I was like, all right, set up, set up, set up. I said, now pull it up. And then we, uh, then I just pulled it up and wrote it. You just did it. Yeah. Yo, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, what, feature, feature who? Uh, Chris Breezy. Oh, they... <laughs> no, nah, man, Trev, you killed it. Oh, your... oh, your... We need you an know? Afro artist. If you guys know somebody. Yeah, Afrobeat artist, man. Afrobeat artist coming through. Little sticker. Yeah, joining in on the chat. Shout out to you. Afrobeat artist coming through. You got to put somebody on that, you know? Yeah, we got we got a couple down here, you know, that that are pretty good. Kelvin Boy, you can you can, you can put you can check him out, you know, on 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 Instagram and your Yeah, Kelvin Boy is pretty good. You know, we got Stone Boy. Kelvin yeah. Boy. Shout out to Wale Sack. Those are your top 2 that you would say? Um my pers my personal my personal ones to kill like an Afro B song. Ooh, yeah. my personal ones. Ooh, my personal. I would I would definitely go for Kelvin Boy. Kelvin Boy is yeah, it's okay. pretty good. All right, yeah, man. check him out. Oh. Yeah, I'm yeah. And I, I I got this I got this cat out, out here too uh, in terms of Afro beats. Uh, Jeezy, Jeezy okay. goes by the name G One. Okay. He goes by the name G One. He's pretty good in Afro beats. He yeah, does, he does Afro beats or he's an artist. He's he does Afro like he does Afro beats. He's an artist, yeah, Afro beats oh. artist, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely. So I mean, you gotta check out some of these guys, man. Maybe I'll maybe I'll send you a couple of links, and then yeah. you know, you just you know, you know, yeah. just uh, sample them out. Yeah, King Promise is also another one. People, are, you, you you can see in the comments, people are starting to uh, you know mention a couple of these fire artists. Sakodia, there's, uh, yeah, there's yeah, Stoneboy coming through. <laughs> hey. But yo, that. That that song right there, man. Yo, 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 yo. That song is no joke, man. That song, I'll be looking out for that song. So I'll be looking the, out for it. The funny thing is, when I made it, I was like, ah, like the night of that I made it, I was like, ah, okay, and I just went to bed. And then the next day, I came down and played it, and I was like, oh. So I <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's definitely. Uh, Anim yeah. Aya says, uh, play some Apocalypse. I love that song. Apocalypse. Now you directed that video, right? You directed yeah. that video yourself. You, I, 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 I saw on a, on a, uh, what do you call it? On an interview, you said that's one of your favorite videos that you directed. Yeah. Apocalypse. Yeah. I mean, take us through your directing process. You know. Well, with that video, uh, I was trying to think of my life and visualize something that I love. So whether it be mm -hmm. a woman or whether it be yeah. my career, or uh, and in mm -hmm. that particular instance, I'm matching those experiences of my career because throughout my journey, there's been so many distractions and so many things that could yeah. have pulled me off of my game. And uh, but nothing can stop me on the journey to my destiny. So that's mm -hmm. why that video I wanted it to be one shot, and throughout that one shot, you see this guy. And there's nothing but chaos around him, but he never once stops moving forward. So yeah. Video, you know, he's getting beat up, or people, there's a car crash next to him. There's people trying to, you know, grab onto him, and he's just like, I can't stop. I, I'm sorry, but I've got to get to where I'm going. And so that's mm -hmm. kind of what I wanted to get. Um, Because words, it's like, even if, you know, the end of the world came, I'd still find a way to reach, him, you know? So then at the end, you know, although I die, I got to her. I did what I said I would do. Got to. Yeah, exactly. I, I would be the best version of myself when I got there. But I not, just trust me, I'll get there. Because even in the song, it goes, the words are, uh, if I can even remember them. What's the damn verse? Oh. <laughs> uh, I got the chorus. Uh, I can help you with that. <laughs> okay, this part. Because the more I know and the less you yeah. know about the things I do, I think that's how you keep it. Like, you don't got to know all the ins and outs of how I work because it'll drive you crazy. It'll just confuse you. Yeah. But just that I, I love you and I will do my best to get to you. Um, but, yeah, that video, I just wanted it to seem like, you know, some end of the world type shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I see some some comments coming through. There, there, lots of people lots of people are still talking about that jam you played there in the Afro beat. Yeah, everybody say, yo, yo, put. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see. My my people out there trying to put me on. Because I do music as well. So they're like, oh, yo, man. tell Trevor, tell Trevor. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely, man. We can link oh. up with something. I got some stuff I can send I can send you away. We can link up yeah. with something, you know? Send it over. Send it yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. 
Let, let's jump real quick to Twitter. Twitter, we got some uh, questions out there from Twitter. Uh, Jada, Jada says, Jada says, do you mind being with an older woman? Do you uh, mind being with an older oh, woman? Not at all. If the time and situation permits, then sure. It's, uh, yeah, it's cool by you, you know, if the time and situation permits. I was younger, that was more so, uh, you know, uh, a regularity. Older yeah. women, older, it's kind of just it's calm down a bit. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Uh, somebody else. Somebody else is saying. Let me see. Let me pick a question. I'm trying to pick a question out for you. Uh, this one says, "Best role you've ever played." Best role you've ever played. Uh, I think Bernie Sands probably one of my. Bernie favorite. Sands. Yeah. What What makes What makes it, What makes it one of your favorites? I just feel like I went to a darker place or just another place farther up to kind of do that. I just was mm -hmm. kind of, you know, trying to yeah. haze myself basically in the bathroom of my hotel that I was staying in while shooting, just like trying to figure out like what pain was like, mm -hmm. why people did it. And, um, you know, yeah, I just, and even people that knew me, they were like, I just came back from that movie different. Dog. I just came a little bit more, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's 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 insane, man. I mean, in terms of like movies, I I've, I've read of uh, you know actors going a bit to the extreme to sort of personify a role. You yeah, know, yeah. are you are you do you see yourself as such a such an an actor, sort of putting yourself uh, through certain? Be, I think it has to be the right role uh, for sure. Because I mean, again, like Ronish, I just I just look at the lines and go. But you know, if it's something mm -hmm. that I've got, you know, maybe be a drug addict or I've got a you know, just it just has to be a more specific thing. Then I would probably do that. You know, like you know, you think about yeah. Joaquin Phoenix, Joker, or you think about these people that have truly transformed, become something. It just takes the mm -hmm. role to do that. But um, off top, not really. But you know, not really. Like if the yeah. movie had to be vegetarian, I'm probably not going to be a vegetarian in real life. You know what I mean? I Ooh, love bacon. Yeah, yeah. I love. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of which, I, I, I laughed at the, the prank you pulled on the girls on set, you know, uh, and, um, Chloe, Funny. Chloe yeah. and, uh, yeah, I heard you pulled it. You pulled a prank on them. They, they're vegetarians, right? Yeah. 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 And you no, pulled a, a little. They're vegans, which is even worse. They're, oh, sorry. They're, they're vegans. They're vegans. Yeah. Right. And you pulled a little, uh, a little prank on them. Uh, you know that they had, they had eaten meat. How was yeah. how did that go down? Like, uh, what was what was oh, the initial Hallie, reaction? I, I bet they were freaking out. Hallie Hallie started crying, dude. She Ooh. was like, Ooh. but they were both saying, "I actually feel bad." Cause I'm like, man, I thought they were gonna laugh. She was like, "Oh my god!" Right? I was like, "I'm just kidding, guys." But it's because we had taco meat on on set, and you know they got the regular yeah. beef. And then they got the vegan option, but the vegan option looks like, you know, the chicken. And I was like, oh, snap, y'all got the wrong one. This is a, uh, hey, what's your name? Um, wait, somebody just said something about Burning Sands, and I want to Yes, I saw that. It. Burning Sands portrayed a different perspective for Greeks in a negative light. Do you have any positive outlook about Greek life? I do think that, here's what was my rebuttal to this about mm -hmm. um, any people that had a, an issue maybe with the film is that if I were to make a movie about uh, an NBA player who did steroids, my, my first thought is not that I'm all NBA players who do steroids. But yeah. my thing is our story is that people take advantage of power, they take advantage of position, and they abuse it. You know, so I don't think everybody in Greek life is that way, but there are, there are stories, there's proof of dead bodies in mm -hmm. life. Uh, from it yeah. happening, so I think yeah. it's a beautiful thing when done correctly, when done within the right, you know, rules, and when people are being safe. But I think it brings community. I think it brings a lot of unity, which I think we as Black people need more of. So I think that is a very positive thing about that. Um, but yeah, I think uh, life is amazing just when it's done right, and um, you know, let's let's not kill each other. Yeah, and a uh, classic. Classic EB uh, down here in the comments said, uh, what do you like most about your fans? What do you like most about your fans? 
I think the crazy thing is I learned so much about myself from the people that I attract. You know what I'm saying? People that are like fans of mine. I feel like I get why and it just kind of makes me like want to work harder and like make them happy. You know what I'm saying? And, and they go hard, mm -hmm. dude. I think my fans go really hard and they're good. But you know, you'll find some people have fans and then you'll go to their page or whatever and they'll be like talking shit about someone or like, you know, but I feel like all of my yeah. fans are to everyone. Yeah. You know? But you can have somebody that's like, fuck that bitch, blah, blah, blah. But they're all super like, hey, girl, what's going on? Like, you know, just very <laughs> warm. They're all warm. Yeah. And always yeah. what I want to attract is people that are kind and warm. And uh, I think my fans do that. <laughs> no, AJ, you cannot have Zendaya's number. No, no. You can't. <laughs> Somebody's like, can I have that? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> shout out to you, AJ. Yeah, coming through. I mean, reading some of these comments. Uh, somebody was somebody's asking. Uh, let's see, let's see, uh, let's see. Uh, when can we expect a new album? When can we expect a new al album? It's from uh, uh, Brooke. Brooke loves you. Hmm. Love you, Brooke. We can expect a new album in um, uh, this year. It's coming out this, this year. year. This year. This yeah. Year. I but yeah. yes, I have cover art already. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, but I mean, rough draft, rough draft one, rough draft two. Yeah, that's 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 a those are two dope bodies of work. I would say, yeah. I I like the fact that uh, let's let's talk about rough draft one though. There, there's this there's this part where I think I think it was the intro, if I do remember correctly, where there's a sample of your grandma, right? Yeah. Uh, rough yeah, draft yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, is it rough draft? Is it not rough draft one? That's not a rough draft one. Let me check. Okay, it's not a rough draft one. No, Ooh. no, it is. I may be mixing it up. I may be mixing it up a Wait. bit, right? Favorite the team. Back. Yeah, where? What is she saying? <laughs> basically, uh, basically, I think it was a, it, it was a, what do you call it? She was giving you some sort of advice. You know? Was it Bible verse too? A Bible verse, yeah, a Bible verse. That's you know. My very much. Yeah. It's yeah. In my I can go to the album in, right now. Yeah. Uh, in my feelings. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the correction. Thanks for the, in my feelings. There you go. In my feelings. Y'all gotta check that one out. That's very inspirational. I found those. Uh, I found those. You know, words. Words What's very your, encouraging as well. Lots of you. Oh, thank you. See, your, your fans know you, man. Look at that. They put in, it in, in my, the comments. In thanks. my feelings. In my. <laughs> That's thank what's up. You. That's what's up, man. Coming through. <laughs> it's, so, Somebody says Second Timothy. That's the verse, eh? That's the verse, yes. isn't it? Right yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, you, you, your grandma used to sing, right? I mean, she, she, yeah. yeah. And do you get a lot of your inspiration from her? You know, you used to be inspired uh, by her voice. Uh, inspiration on how to be a good human being for my grandma. My grandma yes. is. Uh, she is the basis of spirituality and faith within my family. Like everybody that branches from her has God in them, whether they want to or not. You know what I'm saying? She's just a, she's a beam of light. Um, so I try and pull from just who she is with everything, right, what I do. Uh, yeah, yeah, she is in the like video. If you guys have seen like I do from in my feelings, that's her in the video. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's not a <laughs> pony. Dragon tail. Do <laughs> have it. Thank you. Speaking of, speaking of which, speaking of, someone just quickly asked, why did you cut your hair? Trevor, why did you cut your hair? <laughs> what else is there to do? Stuck in the crib. I'm about to cut it again for real. <laughs> cut it real low. Somebody says, grab Yara Shahidi before Luca does. Grab. <laughs> Y'all funny, man. <laughs> Hey, I'm 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 Team Aaron on this one though. I got to I got to I got to be you know I got to be I got to be straight with you. I'm Team Aaron on this one because yo, there's this one scene you did, yeah, where yeah. um in the last in the last season um where uh, Zoe was supposed to hook you up with uh what'd you call it with uh with yeah. the interview and then she she sort of let you down. You know, there's yeah. this follow up scene where she comes to your door. I that was that was a brilliant scene right there, like the way you interacted and all that. Big ups, big ups to you on that one. That's one of my favorite scenes in the whole series. That's funny. I hated that scene. And and then uh, someone else told me on my team, they were like, we love it. I love that. And I was like, really? Like, when I did it, I I didn't like it. And when I watched it, but everybody seems to like it. So thank you so much. But yeah. 
show you your perspective in life yeah be perspective yeah we have to know exactly that. we have to know that as people because we we start to get a little too caught up in our own worlds and thinking that uh -huh. the way that we look at the world is the way the world is and that's not how it is yeah. sorry I that need to say that to myself so now everybody has to hear. <laughs> Michael loves wants to know what's your favorite song on rough drafts 2 what's your favorite song on rough I drafts 2 want to go to sleep want to go out well when she's around is the name of the song that mm -hmm. one and then uh I love the opening song spam in a can spam in a can yeah um I'll probably want yeah I like star chaser a lot yeah yeah, that's that's dope. Let's let's take another one from the comments. Someone says, "How did you get your scar? What scar? Oh, this right? Yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah, that's uh, the one. I think that's the one they're talking about. I um, was playing tag with my cousin when I was probably like three or four. Uh huh. She too hard. I flew and hit my head on the corner of the bed. Ooh. So you could see you could see my bone and everything. I turned over and there was like pools of blood in my eyes. My mom thought my eyeball. She's like, Ooh. his eye. Yeah. <laughs> his eye was came out. <laughs> Yo, yeah. that's that's crazy. Shout out to Blase. See, my, my boss just joined in. My boss just joined in. Eddie Blake. He's a legend in Ghana, man. When you come through, you got to come see him. He's a legend. Eddie Blake. Eddie Blake. Okay, Eddie Blake, here's the plan. I just played an Afrobeat song. We're going to get. This guy on here, and then we're gonna blow it up there. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. That. Make that that's happen. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, we can make it happen. We can make it happen. Let's I go. got you. <laughs> Shout out to Brownberry. He says, "Yeah, Mr. Superfly. He's also, yeah, uh, yeah one of our, our presenters on here. Dope, dope guy. One of the guys I look up to over here. He's teaching me a lot, man. <laughs> Brownberry, Brownberry. <laughs> Brown, hey, we're playing it for you one more time since you weren't on the call when we were on here. Yeah." Yeah, oh yeah, me. I, I love that record, man. Let's rock it. Let's rock it one more time, bro. <laughs> Come and get it from the source. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Jackson on an Afro beat. Yeah, on an Afro beat. Girl, you like a fly. You know your way to find them. To be wasting time and you still let it go. The past just makes you slow. This feels like perfect timing. No room for delay. No room for mistakes. I think I need you to learn. Look at your body feels on mine. Especially when you get any wine. Not all you made the time pop. And I like what you were in a lot But I, I just wanna see you love Baby, can I see it? I wanna see you love again Baby, girl, I need it I wanna see you love again I don't have to keep your secrets If it's too much, then I'll leave it alone But I just wanna see you love again When I see you, you know, girl I wanna see you love again Come here, find me a new boy I just want to see you make it. Baby, can I see you in the back of the clock? Go on, rise on your butt like, Ooh. baby, don't you stop. All right, all right, all right. Yo, yo, I was, I was about to get in the groove, man. I, I, I can't really dance, but I, I was about to move, man. I was about to do it. <laughs> yo. yo, yo, that's, 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 that's an incredible record, man. We, we would definitely talk about that, like, once yeah. we're off, you know, we'll talk about we'll it talk. and see, see what we can do with it. You get me? Do that. Let's yeah. Do that. Most definitely, most definitely, man. Let, now let me let me ask you let me ask you this though. I mean, what do you like? What do you like more? What do you like more in terms of dancing or singing? Uh, Can music, you pick one? Singing, just because mm -hmm. I write, and it's the uh -huh. most most personal thing to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. But I I I recently just I recently just checked you out. You just released a, a brand of slides. Oh yeah, yeah. Check them yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I totally forgot that you saw that. I was like, <laughs> yes, yeah. definitely. For different slides, me and I slide collaborated. Please go mm -hmm. check those out. I still need to hear. 
my parents are coming. Okay, awesome. Um, but they're super cool, yeah, man. Yeah. And um, yeah, your parents are coming. <laughs> logo on him. Art by Fitz. He's from Indiana. He came up with the logo. He's amazing. Um, and yeah, man, that's how we rocking. That's that's what's up. Well, a question a question here on Twitter was asking, uh, you have a song called Crocs. Yes, I do. Crocs. So you want to know what it's you about? With slides instead of Crocs. Is what they're, is well, what they're asking. <laughs> I just wanted to change it up, and you know what I'm saying. Just wanted to change it up. Yeah. I still wear Crocs though. Slides is what I'm on now. Mm. That's what's up. You also you also yeah. a very big fan of Michael Jackson. Yeah, a very big fan of Michael Ooh, Jackson. Yeah. Legendary. Uh, Quest Quest wants to know how no how annoying is it getting mm. mistaken for Michael Jackson's nephew? <laughs> uh, well, God, that stopped happening. But bro, that used to happen every day of my life. Are you sure he's not Michael Jackson's nephew? Are you sure he's not my guy? <laughs> Jackson, I wouldn't be with you right now. I'd be in the crib. <laughs> playing with Bobo. <laughs> it, I'm not gonna do it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yo, that's, I, that's, I, that's crazy, man. There's no I'm going to be related to Michael and not have at least five pictures with him. At least five. That's it. At least. At least. At least five. You got you got to have yeah. that. I mean, I gotta, and you, you got to dance with him as well, you know? You know, bust I, down those moves. I like Uncle Michael, but I'm your nephew. You don't love me? You know, I'm trying to make him feel bad, guilt tripping. <laughs> that that's what's up. Yeah. Now, uh, shout out to some of our viewers. Uh, that, you know, you you got some viewers coming in all the way from. Uh, yeah, we got some from Kenya, Nigeria, Zambia, South Africa, up, alongside up, Ghana. Up, yeah. Yeah. And I want to yeah, go. Can you, we gotta make Chef, can you can you can you do some can you do some uh, shout outs to some of these people down here? Just just yeah. just so you know they hear from you. You know. Say some again? some of these people in the some of these people in the comments, you know, just pick a random, just give a, give some shout outs to some of these people. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Lomo, I don't want to say it wrong. Lomo E. Sonia. What up, Kiana? Let's give you a Ghanaian name. I want one. It's Kwesi. What does Kwesi mean? Oh, Kwesi. Kwesi. <laughs> Kwesi. Kwesi. Yeah, Kwesi. <laughs> yeah, Kwesi. Kwesi. So basically, in Ghana, there's this thing where uh, based on the day of the week that you're born, there's a name that you get. Okay. Yeah. What? What? So what day? What day of the week were you born? I have no idea. I'm gonna go ahead and say a Thursday if I'm guessing. Thursday. If it's Thursday, then you are Yao. Huh? A Yao? Yeah, you are Yao. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what would it be? If you were? Yeah. If you are, say that again. If I was born on Wednesday. If you were born on Wednesday, you'd be Kweku. Kweku. I like that better. Yes. That's yes. Just, and and Kwesi is Sunday born. Sunday oh, okay. born. Yeah. So that's that's the name they want to give you, man. Sunday born. All right. <laughs> that's tight. Yeah, man. There's, 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 a lot of the, there's a lot of these things we got to, like, you know, expose you to, of course. Yeah. And whenever, whenever you can get some, you know, some time and swing by. We'll definitely yeah. run you through some of these. You got to eat some fufu, some fufu, fufu and soup, bro. Some fufu and soup. You will love that. It sounds bomb. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 are some of your, what are some of your favorite foods? Like Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese made correctly. Um, mm -hmm. Chicken, I love fried rice. I like Taco Bell, I like McDonald's, you know. The simple stuff. You know. I got have, you, have you ever eaten jollof rice? Jollof rice. I don't know. Jollof rice. Well, Jollof rice. You should try it out. All right. I'll do that. I'll do that. Ghana, especially Ghana Jollof. Please make sure that it's Ghana Jollof. <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah, man. We do, we do some Jollof wars down here. Ghana, Ghana Jollof is the best one, bro. You got to try Ghana Jollof. Tell them that, yo, I want some Ghana Jollof, man. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, for real, for real, for real, awesome. bro. Let's 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 jump to some of your some of these questions over here. I've been I've been you know holding on to. It. Ooh, this this one's a good one. Have you heard of the genre K-pop music? And if you could yeah. collaborate with a K-pop group or artist, who would it be and why? Well, the one that I know are BTS, and they're pretty mm -hmm. good dancers. So I probably collaborate. They're them. pretty good dancers. 
Okay, BTS. Yeah. Okay, okay. But all... so are they the only ones you've heard of? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that that's that's sick. That's sick, man. But but what do you think of the the K-pop genre itself? Do you think of doing something in that genre? Uh probably not for that. No. Mean, probably not. not at the moment. Not at the moment, but maybe one day. Mhm. Mm for sure. Yeah. <laughs> If they remind me of Backstreet Boys or like In Sync, you know, that's that's the shit. You can't go wrong. Yeah, with, with a boy group that can dance and sing. <laughs> yeah. Did 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 you ever did you ever picture yourself in a boy group coming yeah. up as an artist? Being one, um, yeah. and then it didn't work out. But yeah, I definitely did. But I just yeah. know there was always gonna be an argument for the spotlight. They never last most times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, most, most well, of the them, reason, yeah. I'm the reason they come to the show, so I'm the reason they come to the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a spot on. You got a spot yeah. on, bro. You got a spot <laughs> But, yo, that's interesting, man. It's interesting. You, I mean, you check them out. I mean, you like their dances and their, their choreography and all that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what's up. Let, let's, let's see another one. It says, uh, what's your favorite tattoo? Uh... What's your favorite tattoo? Probably my Bruce Lee tattoo. Your Bruce Lee tattoo, yeah. Over here. Okay. Yeah. What what is it? What does it mean to you? Does it have a special meaning? Just his life is just a staple of discipline and hard work and beastliness. You know what I'm saying? And his favorite thing yeah. is, uh, and uh, the way they keep saying uh, his motto is like "Be like water," and you know I surf all the time and stuff. So just kind of like being fluid and just uh making the most of my situations you know what i mean yeah 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 i feel you i feel you we've been we, we've, we've been on we've been on this for almost an hour i didn't even i didn't even re realize yeah. that you know we we're, we're holding your morning bro yeah, hey yeah. before bef before we let you go though i mean we're, we're, we're playing this thing real quick called uh think fast okay think go, fast go, it's basically go. a game so i'm just gonna mention two things real quick real fast and oh. you either gotta pick one or if you can't pick, it's too hard. You just you just say pass, and then you move. All right, let's do it. Yeah? yeah. So let's go. Michael Jackson or Chris Brown? Michael Jackson. Yara Shahidi or Zendaya? Yara. Ooh, Gronis or Superfly? Ah, uh, Superfly. Superfly. Friends or The Office? The Office. Acting or singing? I think you got this one already, right? Yeah. Yeah, directing or dancing? Directing. Yeah, Netflix and chill or clubbing? Probably clubbing. Yeah. Mm. Indianapolis or LA? LA. Sorry, I love my hometown, but sorry. <laughs> Yo, Beyonce or Rihanna? What's it going to be? Rihanna. Rihanna, Rihanna. So studio or stage? Which Wait, one? Sorry, just let me show you that real quick just so you can see. Okay. That's Rihanna right there. Okay, keep. <laughs> yeah, that's that. The last one was a uh, studio or stage. Stage. Stage, definitely the stage, man. Yeah, that's uh, that's about yeah. Oh, oh, this is a good one. Tyler Perry or Kenya. Kenya. Kenya, definitely. I I I assumed you'd go with that one, man. Yeah. But yeah, that's 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 it. That's it. Well, thank thank you for coming through, man. We yeah, we spent like you. about an hour with you. It was very, very, it was like a fun and entertaining. And thank yeah. you for being our first guest, man. This is history um, in the making, Trev. Yeah. Had a blast. That's hey, love. Got that too. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's blow that song up over there. That'll be tight. Most definitely. I got you. I got you. We'll definitely link up on that record. And uh, yeah, I'll also send you some stuff. Let's let's see. Let's see what we could do, man. Blow this up as sure. well. I got a special, I got a special request. It's, it's, it's uh, a birthday. It's a birthday of somebody and they're, they're your fan. Give me like one second. Let me find the name. I just wanted you to just, you know, wish them a happy birthday. Okay. Like uh, real quick before we, we, yeah. we let you go, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah, exactly. So uh, this, uh, this one says, uh, could you please uh, ask Trevor Jackson to wish my niece, Katie, Katie, a happy birthday. Her name is happy Katie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Yeah. Happy birthday to 
you. Happy birthday. <laughs> that's love. That's love, Trevor. That's love. Thank you. Thank you for spending your Sunday morning uh, with us, man. It's been a pleasure. You, I'm I'm gonna link up with you. So yeah, yeah. You yeah, expect yeah. expect you. I'm gonna I'm gonna link I'm gonna link up with you. Let's All do right. something. For All sure. right, man. Thank Dude. you. Thank you so much. And and also before you go, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out Trevor Midnight Snack. That's yeah. a dope show. Y'all gotta check it out. Thank yeah. you, bro. Go check out his cro yeah, go check out slides as well. His slides, yeah, his slides. Yeah, go check it out. And his music. Friday. Dope, incredible artist right there. So yeah, show some love, ladies and gentlemen. My love, Peace bro. out. Peace out, bro. <laughs> bless, bless. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. We had Trevor Jackson for like one hour. The hot seat on why is what we call this show. I'm about to hop on air real quick. I just spent like five minutes of my own time. It's called uh, Pop Central on YFM, Y1079 FM. Shout out to Big Shaq, Ishaq, as well as Ella uh, for holding it down for me. Shout out to all my bosses. Shout out to everybody on YFM. Man, you guys, you guys made this special, man. Thank you from everywhere. You guys tuned in Alabama, LA, Indianapolis, Nigeria. South Africa, wherever it is that you tuned in, y'all made it special, and it's your questions that made it all the way. Shout out to everybody in South Africa, Zambia, Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get everybody in there real quick. Bless up, bless up. Shout out to you, AJ, as well. So catch the same time. Actually, I, well, wow. Catch me on air right now, and we'll definitely try and bring another special interview y'all way pretty soon. So yeah, stick and stay. Make sure you follow YFM for more. It's been a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. You found the one station that plays Ghana's best urban music. YFM. Listen to YFM 107.9 Accra, 102.5 Kumasi, and 97.9 Takarati. 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 Takarati.